So, okay, here we are again. We're um, having a snack, and, you know, we got uh, very few rules in my house. The, the main rule is be nice, um, and the code of conduct is all things in moderation. Mm, except chocolate. Um, and, you know, usually I eat really good chocolate, but sometimes I need um, a quick fix. And these guys are great. Okay, so this here is one of the uh, coolest rocks I have in my collection. Um, and this is uh, silicon carbide from China. And I have some really bigger ones, but this one's really nice. And we got this one from Wish. Um, my wife bought it. And it, it's like a little scratchy to be actually wearing on your uh, chest or something. But uh, it's nice to look at and take pictures of. And got some nice turquoise there. Um... A little black diamond beads. Kind of cool. And silicon carbide and carbon uh, are forming similar environments. Uh, that is molten rock, right? Um, from molten rock, they crystallize out at, at very, very high temperatures and pressures. And the silicon carbide forms in these two, in layers. This stuff does. Um, there's other kinds and the, that has the other forms. Um, but one of the salient features is that the, it is 10 on the most scale of hardness. Uh, and if you go out to somebody's shop uh, and they have a grinding wheel, a lot of times it'll be black colored, and that's this stuff. It's uh, silicon carbide on, on that grinding wheel. And the whole thing is made out of silicon carbide. So this is um, like a natural form of it from China. And um, it's pretty much about as cool as some cucumbers. Um, uh, I think my wife paid a, a whopping uh, $2 for this one, or maybe less, I don't know. But we knew what it was, so, uh, you know, we bought it to, without without any questions. We really, you know, stepped up to the plate and said, okay, we'll risk that two bucks to see if it's, uh, you know, as cool as we think it's going to be. And it was, it is, obviously, cool. Um... I'm going to blow this up a little bit and um, get you a closer look at this. It's forming in layers, and the layers are um, like oil slick thin. Um, and and the, the thickness of the layers is uh, the, the size of the wavelengths of color that you're seeing there. And they, they have a kind of a greeny purple tint to them, be like oil does, right? Oil slicks. Um, because it's, it's uh, a type of diffraction called thin layer diffraction. 
and the light travels uh, down a half a wavelength and up a half a wavelength for a total of a whole wavelength. Uh, but for some reason, it, 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 the thin film diffraction usually gives you this greeny purple tint. Uh, not all of it. Some of it gives more spectrum-like colors. But this is pretty cool. Cucumbers, man. Definitely. All right. 